This right here is the moving guide. This right here is basically what the bed will look like uh, when you come to it. And what you want to do first do is you actually want to uh, get the frame at its lowest position and make sure that the head and foot are not articulated at all. Unplug the power, get it out of the way, take all of the safety rails and the mattress off to get it down to bare bones. All right, so now you'll have your uh, cardboard lifts. Hopefully you have these. If not, you can use a book or something to just lift it off the ground. All right, so you will have four of these and you will place them around this bolt pattern right here on both sides. Now this is where an assistant will come into play to help you with this. Once you get it up onto your spacers, you'll grab your drill. We're gonna take off the head and the foot. Uh, if you don't have a drill, uh, we send a four millimeter uh, Allen wrench with it to help this. And you will take off six bolts on this side and six bolts on that side. So now we're going to take off the panels. There are going to be two bolts holding the frame in place on these panels, either in these two positions or it could be three depending on what model you have. You're going to locate them and loosen at least two of them and then take the other two completely out and then take one off at a time after that. And I'll show you what I mean. There are two bolts right here. I'm going to take off this inside one first on both sides, leave the outside ones. I'm going to go to just one side after that, loosen it completely and drop it down. Then I'll drop the other one down. And this is basically when you're working by yourself, it just makes it easier. And it doesn't put the panel in the hill of bind where you can't get it off.
right, so once you get it to this point, it's ready for transport. You don't need to take anything else off of it. And the best way to transport it is on this. So once you get it to this point, you just flip it over and then take it to whatever box you're putting it in um, or what, however you're deciding to package this. And the reason why is because you want this right here, to, this is a textured surface. You definitely want it to be on anything that has friction or something like that. You do not want these to be damaged at all. Uh, best thing to do is wrap them in foam or however you need to do it to make sure that it, they, these are not damaged at all and neither is the pumps or the internals. And we have a disassembly mo or moving guide and for every single model that we've got. So you can go to our website, download this, uh, go to resources, or if you have any problems or questions, just call the office and we'll be able to answer you as we can. So on a manual bed, you'll have either one, two, or three pumps. And they'll just be sticking out of the frame just like so. And this right here will be attached. You will want to remove this with your four millimeter. And once you remove it, just shrink wrap these right here. This bolt right here will come up, come out and that will come off if you do not keep them together. So just assemble that back in there and then shrink wrap this and that right there's the best way to transport this. Then this particular one right here it has teeth on it that go all the way around and that's how it will your crank handle will move it up and down you do not want these teeth to get damaged so there is a plastic sheathing that can go over top of it or you can come up with your own way of doing it just making sure that this is nice and secure and that it cannot get damaged